Okay, in one, two, three, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Oh my days. Can you believe it? We're finally here and Corpse has made a comeback. It's a comeback season, eh? It's the bounce back of season. And um, to make it even better, I've got the ultimate first guest. Um, hashtag number one, episode one with the man himself on your boat. Mom, I'm in the big leagues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the big leagues. I'm in the big leagues. No, no, no. I appreciate it. You know, we 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 on we on YouTube now. Welcome to Kupano Sohuale's, um YouTube channel. We've got the podcast going. We're on the podcast platforms. We're re-energizing and we're reigniting. Booch, brother, how you been? I've been good. I've been good. I'm excited to be here. It's, it seems like a big start. It does seem like a big start. And, you know, it's funny because we obviously recorded our our episode on yeah. the Eric Kupaning podcast. <laughs> but, um, unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances. Last five. Yeah. Uh, we just have to write that one off. But, hey, I will say, now from the first one to the second one, I think seeing how all of that went down, this one is just bound to be good. Mm. I mean, we lost it for a reason. Mm, 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 and for the comeback to be so soon. Mm. Also for the comeback to be so the soon. To be so soon. That is true, hey, the bounce back it's season, big. man. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, just, just for us to speak on that for a second, man, I mean, I built this podcast. I had a podcast before this called Ariko yeah. um, with my with my ex, and it was a beautiful episode. We had a beautiful season together, and we, we had about three seasons, mm. and uh, I learned a lot during the, the time of podcasting and kind of how everything works and all that, and learning the ropes, but, you know, unfortunately, we parted ways, and now it's time for my new podcast. Today, while I'm recording, I don't even know what the name of this podcast is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I mean, getting into the thick of it is cool because mm. you're gonna find it. Yeah, and I think once it sticks, it sticks. No, fair, 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 fair. But how do you feel now, knowing that this is your shit? That is crazy, this hey. Is your shit. So it's funny because I was always kind of doing a, a a podcast with with somebody, and kind of the idea of sharing that that ship was nice because I could you know delegate the work. Yeah. But now it's like okay. It's my own thing. Yeah, <laughs> you, I have to do everything thing. from marketing to like Shots. editing to all of that. It's, it's really hectic. But I've managed to get myself a marketer. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, an editor rather. Uh, and I've also managed to get myself, you know, Quasi he said he's going to be my videographer. Okay. Yeah, he said he's going to video some stuff for me while I'm on <laughs> campus, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> the campus buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the, yeah. So, you know, the whole idea with this, this, this YouTube platform is that we're going to try and do as many different things as possible to just create a creative space for myself and selfishly so for myself. I'm just here to learn from great great minds and one of those are definitely you we'll let everyone decide that <laughs> <laughs> i don't I know. know we don't know what's gonna come <laughs> up today <laughs> no 100 man and i think just to start off though i think just to get some context of uh your life and how you've grown up through the years um yeah take me back to kind of the beginning days and what you think kind of made you who you are today like if somebody were to say okay this is booch why are you the way you are are there some pivotal stuff that really kind of make up your life story shucks um okay okay i think i'll definitely start with uh durban born bred raised you're a durban art durban art you're a durban art guys it's not that bad what? it's really it's <laughs> actually <laughs> no one's ready for that chop no 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 durban's a scam i won't lie no 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 what do you do in durban what do you do in Durban? You live, man. Nah, nah, nah. You live. There's a Shaka Marine world. There's the beach. Wait, wait now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, now. wait now. Wait now. Don't bring up Shaka Marine. Uh, That's a touchy subject. <laughs> you guys brought all the gold dream for them, but we tried something. It didn't work. That doesn't mean the city is finished. Fair, fair, fair. Okay. So, born and bred in Durban. <laughs> born and bred in Durban. Um, single mom. Mm. I definitely want to say that's part of my composition of mm. single mom. Mm. Grown up around my mom, her sisters, so yeah, that's yeah. that's my basis. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd say Hilton College. Hilton College, yeah, Hilton yeah. yeah. College. And you, so growing up, did you have a father figure? Um, I'd say yes or no. Yeah. I mean, there's people who definitely try to step up in the capacity, mm. but I can't say I had a consistent father figure to be like, hey, you know, this, this, mm. or hey, come do this. Mm, yeah. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm, mm. But I can say my mom was a father figure. Jeez. I think. So, so your mom played both roles. Definitely, yeah. I played both roles. For wow, my maestro. Sure, and is she like your, you know, your yeah. the ultimate Everything. idol, eh? Everything. Why? Idol, hero, just the fact that she could pull it all off. Mm. Uh, I've definitely seen days where she also doesn't know what's going on, but it's that consistent energy of, at some point, I'm gonna make it work. Sure, uh, nothing else is an option. Mm. And I think for me, that's just so crazy because being on the, I think receiving end of all of that mm-hmm. i'm just uh going everything has worked yeah when am i gonna be like yo 
you know, when am I going to take charge? Yeah, yeah. This, 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 this. I don't know how it's going to work, but it's going to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I fully hear that. And I think that it's, it's so remarkable to think that a woman played both roles, yeah. having to, you know, kind of... And uh, do you have any brothers and sisters, by the way? I have a sister now. Um, oh, you have a sister now? R- no, okay, no. Okay. <laughs> recent, recent. But for me, it feels like, yeah, recent. Okay. Um, Zoe. Okay. Uh, she's born in 2013, so that makes her how long? Yeah. Oh, that's she's done. Eight, nine? Yeah, eight, eight, nine. Yo, mom, mom is gonna <laughs> kill me when she hears this. Uh, I have a sister Zoe and yeah. a sister Ellie. Oh, um, beautiful. She's man. five. Oh, beautiful. And yeah. how's it been with older brother? It's so different to what everyone makes it out to be. You think so? Yeah. Ah, oh, nah. I'm telling you. <laughs> and <laughs> I hate admitting this. I was such a sour older brother at first. Really? Because I was so used to getting attention, yeah. being mom's favorite. Mm. You know, I was mom's little soldier. Mm. I'm, uh, I'm mm. the guy. Yeah, I'm yeah, the yeah. Guy yeah, 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 yeah. These kids just get scot free everything. <laughs> I'm like, no, mate. This is this is not how we do things in this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, you know, before I'd be hard. Like, no, we don't do this. We don't do this. Mom's like, lay off. So mm. me and my sisters definitely had like a love. Uh, I don't like your relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that. Yeah. I hear that. Sure. What a what a what an interesting dynamic, man. I I only have like I'm in the, I'm the middle child. Okay. So like I'm kind of an older brother, but at the yeah. same time I don't really have any authority because my sister's older than me. Uh. So it's like I'm just such in an awkward position. But I mean like you're at the top of the food chain, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's problems there also. Okay. Before I answer, how does it feel being a middle child? I always thought that was like the sweet spot. No, no, no. It's kind of like grade nine in the high school. So okay. like you have no real value in the school mm. because you're not like getting ready for senior, you know, as a grade 10. You're not, like, in grade 8 where, like, oh, my gosh, just take care of you. You're not in grade 11 where, bro, it's tense. Yeah. Or we're not in grade 12 where it's obviously, like, bro, okay, it's my trick, you know? So, like, okay. grade 9 is such an awkward grade, <laughs> you know? Like, that's why, that's why I look at, like, it's age 19. Mm. You're not, like, you're out <laughs> of your teens, brother, but you're not a 10-year-old, you know what I'm saying? You're not on the second floor yet, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how I feel me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it's like having a burger oh, with no sauce. Dude, you know <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Dude. It just feels awkward, you know. Bro, like I think that's so twisted. <laughs> I always thought <don't laughs> <laughs> a burger with no sauce. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always thought like grade nine was the unappreciated sweet spot. Nah. Hear me out. The grade eights need you because it's kind of like. You said an unspoken example. Mm. It's not, they're not wide eyed about mm-hmm. you because you're within reach. You're just a grade nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they know the grade nines they want to be like. Yeah. So it's kind of like they're always just checking, like, okay, if he does this, I think maybe I should model this. Mm. For the grade 10s, 11s, 12s, you're the protege. Because the grade 10s need to go, am I a good grade 10? Because how's my grade nine doing? Mm. I mean, imagine if I'm just running around reckless. The first thing they're going to go is how great tens. Mm. What's going mm. on? Nah, I hear that. So I think with your sister, she probably looks at you and be like, okay, Cops is doing this, this, this. Are these the things that, like, you know, are good? Then it's like, ah, it's mm. okay. Mm. Yeah, I hate that. Then you have a younger brother. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then your younger brother's just like, okay, Cops is getting away with A, B, and C. So <laughs> if I do this, <laughs> I'm also going to get away. I think that's amazing, man. <sighs> okay, man. I guess we'll agree to disagree <laughs> then. It's fine. But talk about grade eight and nine. I mean, we obviously then met in Hilton, hey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, do we even remember how we met? I mean, I remember we spoke about it last yeah, year, but I don't. Remind me about that story. I'm still thinking. It's Mr. Delal. Yes. It's Mr. Delal. Mr. Delal, right? yeah. And you and Tawana and your yeah. been thick ass books that you guys were reading the whole time. Books are cool. Yeah. <laughs> books are cool. <laughs> books are cool. But yeah, so you and Tawana obviously had your beautiful relationship and you guys currently right now yeah. are still friends, eh? Yeah, How's that relationship friends. been, eh? Hey? Amazing. Yeah. I mean, if there's one person I can say holds it down day in, day out, that's Job. Jeez. That's Job. Me Shout out Joe to him, man. Crazy close. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy, eh? Because we. Made in grade eight. Yeah, 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 just yeah. Just reading books. Oh my days! It's so, 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 who was the more? Who was the bookworm? Was it between oh, you and Joe? Definitely me. Oh, that's uh, uh, definitely cap, me. That's cap. That's cap. No, that's cap. No, that's cap. That's Even Joe wants <laughs> to say it's cap. It's me. It's me. I saw him start to like the authors I liked. I said it's okay. Bro. Oh, <laughs> dude! Okay. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when a nigga likes a hand so much that they start speaking like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. so so you guys obviously developed that relationship, yeah. but you know, soon enough, then you became a cool kid. That Hilton. Oh, awesome. Questionable. Oh, Questionable. come on, Booch. I mean, if you did not know Booch by grade ten and you went to Hilton, you didn't go to Hilton, brother. No, <laughs> <I'm not good>. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those things. You know what I'm trying to say? Because you had a very good relationship very, very early on with the, you know the older grades, and how was that navigating that? 
I think like it definitely came with a whole lot more pressure than people thought mm. because you're still a youngster. Mm. You always feel like one wrong move and um, I'm like that guy. Sure. Whoever that guy is. Yeah, like yeah. I'm just another number because yeah. they're like, ah, you failed. Yeah, yeah. But then also with your grade, it's like, jeez, who do you think you are? It's, it's that, oh, you think you're cool now? Jeez. Yes. No, it's not that. Mm -hmm. But if I am cool, I'm going to be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, but deep question coming on, though, was that pushed by any insecurities? Or was it just a thing of, like, I just have my way with people and therefore I'm going to take advantage of that fact? I think a bit of both. Because mm. I definitely won't lie and say, like, um, it didn't come with that added little reflection. Mm. I think being in a position where people thought you were cool mm. comes with a lot of like internal alarm bells, warning signs. Yeah. It's uh am I actually cool? Mm. That's definitely a question I ask myself a lot of times. Am I actually cool or am I surrounded by people who are cool and be via association I'm here? Sure, that's deep. Exactly. Or is it um I'm yeah, cool deep. but mm. I don't know why I'm cool. Because for me this is like uh is it because I'm trying hard? Am I doing something what makes me cool? Mm. What makes me cool? Mm. It's funny because, I mean, the thing is that we talk about a lot of things about, you know, towards social status, mm. you know, and I guess going back to, so I, I, I remember listening to a conversation about this lady, right, mm. who really likes bags, really, really likes bags. And, you know, she gets really expensive bags. And if she were to walk past like a random person, that person would never care mm. about that bag. But if she were to walk somebody else that's also like a bag collector and it ha and notice that small little stitching in the side corner, yeah. she'd realize that, you're okay, that's a real bag. So that social status update, mm. you know, and like ego uplift, yeah. I suppose, gave, you know, yeah, some sort of power to that lady in that situation. Moving back to Hilton, mm. we then now have this, this group uh. called the Gents, okay? <laughs> and uh, the Gents actually, just, you know, for context, actually did send me a contract. Yeah. But um, I declined the contract uh, just because, like, I... <laughs> what a sad <laughs> yeah, You know, even what the gents... The gents even... Thing. I even got to sit on the MD table yeah. for the gents over some yes. guys that have always been trying to be in the gents. Craziest thing, eh? Yes. On top of that, they even allowed me to be in the photo for the MD. I was like, bro... Oops, dude. <laughs> Are you dumb? <laughs> Mate, and you should have just joined it. No, 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 no. But I couldn't it. leave my people that were not in the gents. But the gents I felt is like not was an some exclusive sort of thing. No, nah, it is. It it's is not. It is. It's the, not. The gents had to have been exclusive because you had to sacrifice some sort of part of your social state, social being for the gents. I disagree. Because you know, we had this con Okay, for people who don't know, in the last files, we had this conversation. And I thought about it after I went home. Mm. That's wrong. No, 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 no. Because what did we sacrifice being in the gents? You said There had to be some sort no, of... No, no, no. Not there had to be. Don't give me a hypothetical. Give no. me now. What do you think we sacrificed? <sighs> You've got to think about it like in the sense of the gents basically had... Okay, just by the way, sorry, we didn't give context, but the gents basically was this elite black community within our grade that, um, yeah, <laughs> you know, we're above all of us in the social realm, <laughs> right? So I think the gents, the exclusivity came in the fact that it was by association. So for instance, okay, I was able to chill with like Mac D's, um, which, was a, which was a guy at our, yeah. at our old school that was, you know, into nature and all that, into yard and in them. I was able to chill with um, the Bruce. I was mm -hmm. also chill with the Oaks. You know, I was able to chill with everybody. And I felt like the gents didn't necessarily um, accept some of those groups. Like if I was passionate about if I brought it your guys, I went with Mac D's, who are he there, I'd be I'd be I'd be I'd be reprimanded about that. You wouldn't be reprimanded. What? It would just be like um you know what I think your version of reprimanding is people not caring as much as you would yes, in that situation. Fully. No. I think with the gents it was just this was our sphere. Mm. For us this is our world. Mm. So anything that's outside our world it's like okay, cool in some instances, but also okay regardless because this is the mission, mm. let's call it like that. Yeah, the yeah. mission is for us. I think what the gents really came together as is people who saw what the older grades saw. Mm. It's the older grades really wanted us to be like this. And I think we trusted that vision. Mm. So we trusted it so much. We're like, we're going to embody that. Mm. And because of that, it's like, okay, going to the States as much. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a cool story, <laughs> but like, ah, uh, okay, dude. What must I do now? I must clap that you went to the estate. That's <laughs> so me. I can go run outside. 
<laughs> did, you, did you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I hear you, I hear you. I mean, there was also obviously the yobs, and I guess we'll agree to disagree in that on yeah. that point. But I guess there was also the yobs, and did the yobs and the jins, did they get formed at the same time, by the way? Yeah, mm. because to be honest, it all started with um, a WhatsApp group. Yeah. It's, I think, great tennish time. Mm. Now it's club time. Okay. It's the other forms are starting to say, hey. You you know, you, did you get involved to Red Black, eh? I mean, oh, laka, 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 laka. <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> so it was just those Oaks who got invited to the Red Black. And for those who don't know, like Red Black um, was an older form thing, like grade 11, grade 12. If you got an invite in grade 10. Nah, you're elite. Yeah. You nah, socially, you are you up. You, you know, they yeah. see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I that was a big thing at Hilton. And I did, I did, but I didn't go. I didn't see? go. Because Corpse, yeah. Corpse, <laughs> like, let me tell you, Corpse had this whole. I don't know if it's a martyr complex or just a, <sighs> you know what? Yeah, I trust in gonna be hectic, man. <laughs> because everyone loved Corpse. Mm. I think that's fair to say. Like, everyone had a really well-founded respect for you. No, I appreciate it. In a lot of ways. Mm. That's why everyone wanted to be Corpse friend. But that's why also, you take for granted the fact that you could chill with the McDees and then come chill with the gents or the yobs or whatever. Mm. Not everyone can do that. McDees couldn't do that. You went into his setting chilled with him then you said uh i'm actually kind of bored of you bye oh. yeah i think only you could have done that yeah i yeah. Saw, I kind of also felt bad for squad hopping also to be fair <laughs> like i feel like that so yeah. you can admit that you did yeah i did i definitely did and also because like yeah i just i just kind of like something new all the time uh, you know and that's why i also say that like my friends for instance can't all socialize yeah but i okay. guess yeah 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 that's a very like all my friends i can't bring all of them together in the same uh. space because they will not be able to socialize. Do you think it's going to be clicky or just no, 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 it no chem? No, 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 no chemistry at all. Because I okay. find like different. Because I'm friends with like goths, mm. and then I'm friends with like Jesus people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I'm like the Jesus people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think like it's it's very different, like um. you know, um, from people to people. So yeah, I get that. Sure, okay. but anyways, um, so then obviously now you are developing into you know the young man that you are we're going back to that yobs thing about the whatsapp group yeah so yeah how did you guys then end up to become this tight-knit community i think it's um it was really just because the usuals or the people in that group kept getting invited mm. and we kind of came together even the yobs and the gents and just said hey Oaks, listen i mean if it's only going to be us because it was very rare to see other people get invited into those spaces that we were being invited to. Mm. We're chilling with like um, the matrix that we were chilling with, mm. the grade 11s, whatever, Jeez. being mutually liked mm. by the same spheres. Mm -hmm. So like, if we're going to do it and it's only going to be us, let's be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, you know, let's have our thing. Yeah. And no one else kind of really understood that thing. Yeah. Because you had to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we kind of kept it between those that were there. Mm -hmm. I think it was also just a self-preservation thing. Sure. Because you never know when it's your time. Yeah, you know that's, I mean? true, that's true. That's true. Because you know true. some people fall off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. So um, now just moving on to, of course, you know the 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 the, the yobs and the chains. Yeah. You know, and I suppose just generally in in schools, you know, we do have these social contracts that we sign with each other. Yeah. And I wanted to understand, you know, obviously I know one of the the typical ones that we have in, in boys' schools is the the controversial one that says "bros before hoes." So uh, I wanted to kind of find out what kind of some of the so social contracts that you guys shared within those elite groups. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to extrapolate past <laughs> elite groups to <laughs> what I know those social contracts to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, definitely, definitely. Mm. Hate or love it, mm. bros before hoes. Sure, okay. okay. Um, Did anybody ever breach it? Oh, definitely. Sure. That's story the time? twisted part. Story time? Nah, story not time. story, story <laughs> time. But just, there's also been multiple breaches. Oh, shit. And you can get the same offender. Oh, shit. That's your bro now. <gasps> and if you ex your bro, did you ex your bro because of the hoe? Wait, repeat that for us. Like, I repeat that for us. You can have. You gotta, you gotta give us. You gotta give us. <laughs> story. You I gotta can't. Oh, what you mean? I can't. <laughs> you were a jail. <laughs> if you signed the contract. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you get some people who will breach the contract. And the contract basically states, like, it's more of a respect thing. It's mm. respect the fact that your bros will hold you down more than infatuation. Sure. Because I think guys predominantly call people hoes when it's it's just infatuation. Mm. It's just like, I'm not in love in love yet, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm mm. just going at it. Mm -hmm. 
and but now as while you go at it, remember you have your bros. Mm. Your bros is I'm um, clearly defined as your friend more than just an acquaintance. I've got your back. You've got mine. Yeah, we're yeah, doing yeah. this together. Solidarity, brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, brotherhood. fair, fair, fair. Yeah, fair, but fair, are we doing it together? Sure, are we doing it together? That's a real question, yeah, eh? And I think, yo, damn. So people genuinely like backstab. Oh, people backstab. Oh, uh, that beauty, I mean, beauty talks, then, eh? Um, beauty talks. Beauty talks. Beauty, ex- I think, reveals things. Let me not even say talks, but it's kind of like when it gets tough. Oh, yeah, what's it? <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Gee. So it's like, yeah, bro, yeah, that's, hose, that's bro deep. Hose. Then you see this very fine John, and then everyone's like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like, yo, he'll forgive <sighs> me later. Ah, 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 ah. Bro, niggas move mad. Niggas move crazy. Niggas that is crazy, crazy, man. Niggas sure. Crazy. Okay. Okay. No, I I understand that. I think for us, you know, um, peasants, uh. <laughs> guys, you go sometimes like. <laughs> but anyways, for us peasants, I think I guess one of our social contracts that I must definitely uh, note is just the fact that we w- people aspired to replicate one another, yeah. and I was like, bro, just do you. Mm. You know, I remember like I was always been a lover boy. Uh, and like a lot of the things that I've been doing, infamous. Level. Yeah, <laughs> infamous. I mean, yeah, man, I've been, I've done some crazy stuff to be said. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whoa. some pretty crazy stuff. So, whoa. but I always said to people that don't try and play my game, you know, because my game is a different game. Play your game, brother. Hey, don't shame. play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, play, don't try and play my game. What's the point? You Your can't win it. Classy. Nah, nah, but you can't win it my game. You know what I'm trying to say? Of course. Yeah, yeah. So rather play your game because you win it your game. And I think one thing that I learned the most about, like through just watching the gents and how you guys just did your thing and, you know, were really kind of at the forefront when it comes to the social game, yeah. is that you just were yourselves. Yeah. In all honesty, like you were honestly yourselves. And, That's it. Yeah, you, know, um, you know, we talk about fuckboys and how they've always, always got the girls. And I think. It's the beauty, the, I think the science and the psychology behind fuckboys for me is the fact that, and around players, that the fact that they're not necessarily players, they're just themselves. Yeah. And they don't let that fact fold regardless of how beautiful you are. Facts. I really love that about them. Facts. You know, whereas timid guys change to kind of think that, okay, if I act in this way, they then she'll sure. like me. Okay. That's just not true, brother. Just you. be yourself, dude. <laughs> be yourself. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. I've just always been on this game, and that was uh, one of the social contracts. Boy, play your own game. Don't try and play my game, dude. Okay, but how do you know it's your game if you don't have competitors or challenges? Because let me tell you something. I think... <laughs> let me mm. tell you something. This, this is a tough conversation, man. I'm not going to lie. But anyways, yo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, keeping a buck. Mm. I came from Durban. Mm. Hilton College, where everyone else came from. Durban. Fair. Everyone had the connects already. Mm. I came in. I assessed the situation. I saw that these are the available games being played. Mm. I see who are the kings of the game. And I said, I'm going to challenge you. Mm. And you win. Yeah. <laughs> I won. <laughs> I won. Bog. I, I won. I won. I definitely won. <laughs> There's some niggas who thought it was a game. I said, it's not. No, oh, So how do you know? That's why I love people who challenge. Mm. I always just, I want to be friends with you, but I can't. Yeah. you challenged me, so now I need to crush you. Yeah. But I respect you so much more than someone who just, you know. That's fair. Mean? That's fair. Actually, no. I, 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 let me just take back what I, what I said. I think challenging is also it's it's, it's an nice. important thing. Mm. And I guess for me, I was the king of my own game because I think for me though, <laughs> yeah, um, I actually came from a school that nobody knew, mm. which was Sacred Heart College. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 and like we like this. I think there was only been like three, four people that have come from Sacred Heart oh, like sure. in the history of like Ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's really really though. Like nobody's ever really come. Uh, from there, but the point is, is that my game was um, the guy that could be social with everybody. You know what I'm trying Facts. to say? And I just Facts. and I did that with my woman. I did it with mm. my with the boysons, and I just won. You know, in that game. So I guess, yeah, you're right. I'm definitely playing that social game as to who I am is, is so true, and I, I hope that you know we can just yeah understand that even though it's important, we should definitely challenge ourselves. Defi- mm. Okay, can I ask a question now? Of course, man. Because I'm just remembering. I think it was. Um, Yes, the big one was the matric dance. Yeah. And before that, of course, you had a track record of doing things that just weren't at a high school level. Yeah, in terms yeah, of yeah, like yeah, yeah. For women, or I, even even in the, even university. Ah, even <laughs> university, I still haven't seen anything like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember, mate. Um, 
everyone's at the dance. Mm. The DJ stops the music. We just heard, or like, you know, a few days before, we got told that you won't be coming. Yeah. And that's why, like, you know, the gents were bummed. You wanted to be at our table. Yeah. Oh, this is the Form 4 formal, eh? Yeah, I think the Form 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, definitely. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then the music stops. And no one, like, I think maybe select few knew, but I didn't know. I think the whole table didn't know. Yeah. Your voice comes on. Mm. And we're just like, ah, oh, it's corpse. Cool, cool, cool. You gave one of the most amazing speeches. Like, my dates and people's dates were like, who is this guy? Why isn't he here? Yeah. This, 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 this. Yeah. You were, like, infatuated upon. Mm. No one else ever did that. It's never been heard of. I know some people were sour. Some people were having a bad time with their dates because their dates were asking, yo, who's this guy? Jeez. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what made you, I don't know how to put it, maybe. What made you up the ante every time? Because yeah. you definitely upped it. Yeah. You know, it's funny that you say that. So recently, it was my my mother's 50th birthday. Oh, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, shout out to her, man. She made half a century, which is insane. Big news. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, and she... Uh, made uh she 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 made us to come say a speech you know mm. so on the saturday was like friends and family as for friends and colleagues and on sunday was family but on the saturday um there was like a lot of big people you know yeah. the rolls royce gang came through to the yeah. house you know the bentley's all the big guys yeah. came through you know yeah. um one guy actually came with bodyguards i was like bro oh, like it's not that dangerous I like it's a <laughs> <hole>. <laughs> um and we changed the whole house it was a beautiful event oh, no. and it was you know i was actually the last speech so oh. I literally had the last speech, yeah, literally right. the last speech. And I spoke, you know, I spoke and I, and, you know, my, 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 my speech kind of did this, you know, it had uh, a lot of highs, uh. lows, whatever, and kind of very similar to what I do. Um, but I think, you know, once everybody stood up and was a whole standing ovation, oh my gosh, mm. Corpus, wow, what a speech, who yeah. And I look back at the situation, I say to myself that, you know what, it's, for me, I love the idea of doing the unthinkable. Mm. And doing something that's beyond one's imagination, you know. I took okay. Tori to Greece. Crazy. Okay. I have done some crazy stuff for other women, yeah. but I think it's also <laughs> the idea that I just want you to never ever forget me. I don't know why, but it's just a selfish part of me that just always wants you to think that. Oh my gosh, like, you know, your thought of kind of being, uh, f like, I'm just basically, how can I say it? I'm essentially just doing away with all your standards mm. and taking you to a whole new level that you didn't even believe existed. Shucks. And that's kind of my thing. And everything that I do that I know mm. that I have the capacity to do is just the idea of just absolutely blowing your mind, you know, and just that awe and that, that gobsmackness, that, that feeling that you get when you realize what's going on. I live for those moments. Kind of like a comedian that lives for the next mm, laugh. For the next or laugh. Or for the magician that lives for the next um, wow. Mm. Or for the, the mathematics teacher that gets for the next um, aha moment mm. when, you know, a student that's been struggling. You know, those like small little highs. Although my highs are really, really high, I just live for those moments. Absolute remarkable moments that people get in their heads. Shut and that, that emotional high is like sniffing cocaine for me, mm. man. Yeah. And I just feel like also we live in a world today where you know, women are ill-treated, you know, and the That's patriarchal true. society that we've been experiencing for thousands of years has, has hasn't been great to a woman, you know, mm. and I think that if, if there's one thing I can do in every woman's life that I'm able to encounter is just to show them the world, you know, and to show them that there are greater things in this world beyond your imagination. I'm done. Do uh, not. Oh, I, I can go home. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's basically kind of it, you know. And I and I, I'm still on the search for my wife, you know. To be fair, I very much you. so, still on I the search you. for my wife. Um, and still on the search for my queen. But yeah, man, it's just I genuinely want to do the world. And you know, to be fair, going back to the whole um form four formal, it's yeah that thing of emotional high. Uh, Don't even forget me uh, when I die. It's not about come to my funeral and cry it's yeah. just oh man hey, what, a what a guy what a legend what? yeah man what a legend so yeah that's trademark course yeah that's trademark course man and I, I don't know why it's like this innate thing in me to really just because i just every single conversation i have be it with an uber driver or a or a conversation with a barista yeah. just never forget me i don't know why i have this thing about never forgetting me but i just don't want anybody to ever forget power, me man. and i want to leave a true legacy mm. not one that just speaks to the textbooks but one that speaks to the soul man
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, keep mm. that. Yeah, keep yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> that. Wow, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit um, blown away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I hear you. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was, that was rich. No, no, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, it's, 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 it's as we grow and I hope that, you know, it does, you know, um, add some value into the world, you know, as, as, as the years go by. I think it definitely does. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But anyways, man, let's yeah. just get back to where we're supposed <laughs> to be, which is talking about you, Booch. Um, so, just before we end off with the, with the section on the Hilton boys, I wanted to just get you all your opinion on the dark side of growing up in a, in a boys' school. You okay. know, there's the drugs, there's porn, there's mm. the influence, there's the social pressures, you mm. know, there's the body dysmorphia. Yeah. Um, just take me through some of the, the hardships that you've been experiencing through Hilton and the, the hard truths about going to top all boys' boarding school. <laughs> Shucks. Mm. Okay. I think if I were to keep it very, very real mm. there are definitely dark sides yeah, yeah. And there are definitely dark sides and i say that not at all wanting to discredit the fact that hilton definitely changed my life for the better sure um i wouldn't take it back mm. i wouldn't i wouldn't take a single thing back mm. uh even the hard times mm. if i'm being honest but there are definitely dark sides mm. there are sides of being in an old boys boarding school confined to that space where masculinity just it's everywhere mm-hmm. it's in your food it's in the <laughs> air whatever you do you are going to feel like you need to be at your most masculine 100 percent. couldn't agree more it's bad some mm-hmm. people don't get away from that i think yes like you're saying pornography mm-hmm. uh, body dysmorphia sure. i think that's one thing a lot of people suffered from really really hard mm-hmm. really really hard mm-hmm. i think how was your journey eh? Definitely hard. Yeah. Definitely hard. You see in grade eight these giants. Yeah, yeah. These bodybuilders are like six foot, mm. wearing 110 kgs, mm. ripped to the core. Jeez. You see the respect that comes with that. Mm. You see the the way they walk, the way they talk. And now you look up to that. And then you go back in the mirror and you're just like, wow. Sure. You just go, damn, 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 damn. Looking at the mirror sometimes in a boys' boarding school is tough. Because also, after a gym session, what happens is everyone goes to the mirrors. Everyone does their little flex. Everyone, whatever. And you have to bolster yourself for that. Because you definitely still want to be a part of the brotherhood. Because yeah. you also went to the gym. You yeah. deserve to go flex. Yeah. No matter no matter what size you are, go flex. Go be a part of that. Because that was the thing. Mm. But you also need to bolster yourself from the fact that there are people that are bigger than you. Mm. There are people that have your aesthetic, don't work as hard as you, and treat it like it's nothing. But for you, that's everything. Jeez. That's body dysmorphia, I think. Especially in boarding schools. Everyone wants to flaunt it. Everyone wants to flaunt it. Mm. Um, sure. And how's your experience with drugs been? Drugs? Yeah. Crazy. I saw Hilton definitely... Okay. Not Hilton. But schools in general. Mm have a very 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 i don't know it's very lax mm. i won't lie like i think about it sometimes and i mean i talk with oaks just it was so easy to see drugs yeah like <laughs> it's so easy to yeah. see drugs yeah, 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 yeah you get so desensitized of you walk into someone's study and it's like oh okay <laughs> like Oh, it's like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, because the first time, I still remember the first time we'd see those things, ha, ah, ah, ha, yeah. ha, ah. ha. Like, do I tell someone? But also, don't tell someone. Mm-hmm. But do I tell someone? Mm. And then you get to open and say, like, oh, you only have one of this. Oh, crazy. Jeez. You're a newbie. That's crazy. Je- definitely a big drug mm. problem. I mean, it was, it was Falcon pretty bad. I mean, Falcon was your boarding house. Yeah, Falcon was my boarding house. Falcon mm. got a bad name. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I think not trying to like lay smack on anyone else but knowing what i know because of the privileged position i was in fucking got a bad name yeah whereas some houses some houses yeah yeah, yeah it I know. was dark there. yeah it was also dark it there. was dark there. yeah 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 true and you know what with falcon i'll never i'll never ever be able to thank Mr. Worth enough, mm, mm, who was mm. our former what a, house legend. Ma- what, a legend. Mm, what a legend. That guy saved so many boys' lives sure. without anyone knowing. Jeez. Like, because it wasn't about getting in trouble. Mm. He w- he didn't want you expelled. He just wanted you to learn the right thing. Mm. So with the drugs, I remember there was a time where, like, yo, I was caught up in a tricky situation. A matric said, I need to go give this. I'm going to go give it. That's mm. my matric. Yeah. Also, I, I'm an elite. I can't let you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's my thing not to let you down. Yeah. He was the first person to say, listen, 
go drop this off. I don't know how he knew. Maybe I was anxious. Maybe I acted up. But he's like, do whatever you need to do. But realize, like, you don't want to do it. <laughs> That's all he said. Walked away clean. But, sorry, <laughs> I'm Shut sidetracking. Up. Back to what you're saying. Drugs is bad. Mm. In an old boy's school, the way people speak about women, definitely bad. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. time that we face up about that mm, thing. Mm, and mm. I mean, Oaks go, yeah, let's face up. But, like, it's bad. That locker room talk. Yeah, yeah that yeah. locker room talk it is a thing. Mm. It is. Mm. That's all I can really say. I don't know how to condemn it yeah. in a way that maybe I should. Yeah. And with that, I'll have to learn. Yeah. But it is it. There yeah. is something called locker room talk. Yeah. It's not just no. This is the way we talk. It's locker room talk. Mm -hmm. um, Sheesh, man, that's so deep. And I, I, I definitely also can share the sentiment of the locker room talk, man. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a weird paradigm because you know, weird, eh? as much as you know what you're saying is wrong, mm. it's like everybody else is like, bro, what the fuck are you saying, bro? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, it's like, hey, but dude, like we can't be saying that. But it's also like there's no real consequence. Yeah. Like those chats in the in the cop shop, right? Yeah, there's yeah. no consequence for those chats. Like you know, like if somebody really says something quite controversial, you beat him up or whatever. Yeah, and then that's pretty much it. Or like you, you know, you uh, you, uh, you reprimand him, but that's it, there's no real consequence. Yeah, there's no like from a like a group of women saying, "Yo, brother." <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I hear that. Shots. Sure. Okay. No, no, that's that's fair. I mean, but I mean, just looking holistically, mm. if somebody were to come to you just before they're going to Hilton, just to end up with the Hilton mm. um, uh, topic is, what do you think your greatest advice could be for that person? Eh? Be respectful. Mm. Understand understand that you're part of a system. Yes. I think that's what Oaks <laughs> and Hilton didn't understand. You're part of a system. And you signed that contract. You signed that contract. <laughs> you are a part of a system. Mm. You are not bigger than the system. Mm. The system doesn't owe you. Yeah. You owe the system. Sir. Like you're paying back. <laughs> you're in debt. As soon as you came in grade eight, you're in debt for five years. Yeah, that's 350k a year, man. It came with some more debt. <laughs> They, you didn't buy anything. You bought debt. Yo. You owe us. That's you crazy. You owe us. Mm -hmm. I think that also, this is going to sound misbehave a bit, in within reason. Mm. Within reason. Mm. Never compromise yourself. Mm. Never compromise the people you care about mm. and your reputation. Mm. But live. Yeah, man. Take a night run, man. Yeah, take a night run. <laughs> yeah. I felt so bad, like, hearing some ox go, nah. In all your years, you never took a night run. Nah, dude, you have to take a night run. You dude. have to. <laughs> you have to. No, you have to go on a night run, like, dude. Like, yeah. Do those things. Mm. Like, join a group. Whatever group it is, join it. Make it your home. Mm. Make people your home. Because mm. brotherhood is just whatever you make it. Yeah, yeah Find yeah. a group of guys who like what you like. Not even they, not even fully. You guys may not understand each other outside of that space. Mm. But in that space, you guys are brothers. Find that. Mm. Depend on that. Yeah. Lean on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Sure. Yeah. No, great, man. I think I, just to add one last point is I think definitely take advantages, mm. advantage rather for the opportunities that Hilton does bestow on you. That's I true. mean, we, we, we did so much from the grade 11 tour to like, yeah, yeah. you know, just, just the, the numerous of camps to the countless speakers. I mean, really, Hilton does really expose you to so much beyond the actual education. So, Very true. You know, I think definitely take advantage for what they have to offer you. Like, they don't lie on the McKenzie Gates. They don't lie. Yeah, they, they don't really don't, don't man. Like, they really offer you a lot, Shots. you know. So do as much as you can, as early as possible, because the deeper you get in, the yeah, deeper it gets, yeah, actually. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> academics is One thing deep. I miss, mate, mm. I think that everyone can say they miss the state. Facts! The state. <laughs> Because you know how many times I just sit and I go, why didn't I listen? Nah, I, I use the estate, I won't lie. But I, I still miss it so much, dude. Makes you understand we had a whole estate. Dude, that was so beautiful. In man. the backyard. That was so, you can, and you could literally go there anytime. Anytime. That was so beautiful. Wild animals, there's trails. That there's was so beautiful. We had an estate. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. No other school had an estate. That was so beautiful. My class didn't. No. Oh, yeah, they didn't. They didn't have an estate understand like how deep we, <laughs> we had in the states no one went enough go sure. see wild animals yeah dude and just immerse yourself in nature it really just you know, it's it does cool. a lot no it does a lot i remember i used to run to benny's view and beacons yes, a lot yes, of the times yes. and i used to always love it man i would see some warthogs and some crazy shit as shout i ran bro, but that is so yeah yeah cool. shout out to the estate man but you know maybe we'll hit a season back and we'll vlog about that experience yeah next year <laughs> to off, you know what i'm saying yes sir <laughs> but anyway so um this is the final section and um you know we're gonna we're gonna kind of 
end off here, which is basically the idea of manhood. You know, yeah. you're now now obviously now going into this phase of your life where you're truly trying to discover yourself. You ain't under that Hilton boy um, album anymore, and now yeah. you know the Fleur de Lis is not watching <laughs> over you all the time. <laughs> so, how's that journey been? Kind of discovering who you are. I think it's definitely been crazy. Mm. Um, crazy, but also very, very humbling. Yeah. Um, yeah, keeping it real. Without the Fleur de Lis or anything watching over me, but myself, there was a whole lot of unlearning to do. Mm. A whole lot of... What do you mean by that? Kind of like, you know when you feel like the jig is up? I think for me, that was a big thing. It was the jig is up. Yeah. Life doesn't revolve around Hilton. Mm. In the Hilton sense, how cool I'm this guy, mm. I'm this cool kid, I'm part of the gents. But here, I'm just another person. Sure. I'm another person doing life, trying to make it as best as I can. That's so true. And you know what? That's good enough. Yeah. Like, I had to learn that. Yeah. I like what you're saying because at Hilton, you have some sort of identity. Yeah. UCT, you don't really have don't identity really have there. Identity. <laughs> yeah. You can't really identify as like, you because it's just too big, dude. It's <laughs> too big. Yeah. There's too many numbers, <laughs> too many moving parts. Yeah, you're, just, you're just another number, you're hey? just another number. So you have to find it from within, eh? Yeah, literally, just you need to look at yourself and say, what's good enough for me right now? Because mm. only you're going to give you that pat on the back. Mm. Only you're going to know when you've actually done well at something. Yeah. So for me, that was humbling because I was definitely a kid who did everything. Um, tried to be involved in as much as possible. Because I lived for that dab of, I got my name called that assembly, or everyone knows I did something really cool, yeah. or I did this, I did this, I did this. I loved, I ate that. Yeah. I, that was my bread and butter, to be acknowledged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to get that, you know, pat on the back, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, that's crazy, man. Yeah. And now here you are, and nobody cares if you're no, on the Dean's no list. No eh? one cares. No one cares. Jeez. No one cares. So, so then what, what do you think is like now the biggest mistake? Because I know for me, if I can say the biggest mistake that people still make right now mm. is they think they're playing the same game. So like, okay. like I believe that you play one game in university and you play mm. another game in, 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 in high school. Yeah. And like I think like this whole idea of like um, getting status through your marks yeah. and through what you've achieved mm. was a big high school thing. Yeah. But now nobody gives a shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, no one really cares. Dude, eh? if you get 95% for your stats test versus somebody gets 50 <laughs> no one cares. And you know, hey, no, no one, one cares. cares. Like no one cares. Like it's that deep. And Holton, that was your, that was your currency. Oh, that was your yeah, that is. Currency. Listen, yeah. I'm a big dog. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Mm. The woman, all oh, that was your currency. But now, yeah. no one cares. So, in your opinion, what do you think? Kind of the guys around you are, are struggling mm. with in terms of, you know, as they kind of finding themselves of a high value man. I think it's making a name for yourself. Mm. People don't understand that that's something you need to actively do. Mm. A lot of people are riding off that, um, let's say, currency or status they've accumulated in high school mm. and they kind of go, that's enough. But now the pool's gotten bigger Jeez. and no one's realizing massive. That the pool is damn, massive. <laughs> <laughs> what you thought was a big fish then is the tiniest thing here. Yeah. People eat people like you. <laughs> Like, <laughs> people will eat you. <laughs> you don't even know you're being child right now. Jeez. I think people don't realize the importance of embracing new life, mm. if I could call it that. Because mm. at some point, we're going to be out of university. Mm. Who are the connections you made? The people It's only the people you knew from high school. Mm. Like, who knows you? Mm. Who knows you? Mm. Who knows you? Yeah. People are okay with not being known. Mm. There's no value in being nothing. Mm. Yeah. Sure. That's a deep thing. You remind me of um, Andrew Tate. You know? <laughs> what a guy. I'm Wha <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he recently actually had a, a five-hour podcast. Ah, I'm still yet to listen to it. Yeah, that. yeah. It is, it's really long and it talks about so many things. Yeah. Um, post like him obviously getting uh, banned, banned yeah, and like then they go through his whole life uh. and they go through his whole views on mm. women and all that and he kind of basically irons out all the things that were said about him and everything. Mm. Um, do you think that he had some sort of value to society? Because I think for me, like, I looked at Andrew Tate as society being this sort of pendulum mm. where like we're now at this right hand side where everybody's like okay you can't say that that's mm. wrong that's wrong that's wrong that's mm. wrong and like this really kind of radical end of the earth and now 
Andrew Tate is on the conservative side yeah. where he's like, no, go all the way back. And one of the biggest things I think people fail to realize about Andrew Tate is that he represents the man that goes into the, 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 the oil refinery and gets yes. after it. You know what I'm trying yes. to say? That guy okay, that every true. single day gets absolutely dirty. Mm. The guys that are fighting in the Ukraine war. Yeah. No one's talking about women to go to fight in the Ukraine yeah. war. No, 100%. So I think he's on the extreme kind of conservative side mm. as a way of kind of then eventually balancing it out in, yeah, the middle. in the middle. So yeah, what's your opinion on him? I've kind of got my controversial opinions, but uh, I think there is some sort of value in what he's saying because if there wasn't, definitely. nobody would be watching him. Definitely. Um, and I think that he's definitely shining light on a part of men that they just, yeah, I think we're losing Loki. I think we're definitely losing that part. Mm. I, for me, I'd be lying if I said, as a man, it was refreshing hearing Andrew Tate speak. Mm. I think the first time, because I hopped on to Andrew Tate late, because mm -hmm. the first thing I saw was Twitter going, who the hell is this Andrew Tate? What the F? Mm. This Andrew Tate, who does he think he is? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, jeez, okay. Mm. Don't know what's going on, <laughs> but I can't say I support this guy because it's going down here. Mm -hmm. um, then when I got on, some things, yes, I didn't agree with, but other things, I'm like, whoa, I need to stand up again. Yeah. Like, I'm a man. Back. Yeah, shoulders back. I'm a man. Yeah, yeah. shoulders back. Yeah. Head like, you know, cock back. Mm. I'm a man. Mm. I like that. I think with, I kind of agree with you. Right now, there's a whole lot of censorship mm. that has come with a whole lot of relearning and rethinking. Mm. But for some people, it's kind of been forced down their throats. Mm. And if you spew back something that sounds similar to Andrew Tate, you'll be banned. Yeah. So hearing him go all out, because he went all out, yeah. I think... He even knew his time was short. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. think that's why he became an extremist. Sure. Because he knew, I'm not going to be able to do this forever. Because mm. no one's going to let this fly. Yeah, that's true. The YouTube no gods one. are going to yeah, be like, YouTube bro. YouTube gods, <laughs> Twitter gods. Yeah, they'll be like, yo. Them, yeah, they're going to say, up. buddy, you're actually damaging what we're trying to do here. Mm -hmm. You got to go. Sure. I, won't lie, I think Andrew Tate had some good and some bad. Mm. Yin and Yang, everyone has that in yeah, them. Yeah, fair, fair. I think fair. everyone has that in them. And to just focus on the wrongs he did discredits a lot of work that he did for some people. Mm. I know for some people, he definitely changed their perspectives. Mm. Kind of got them to fight again. Because mm. in the world of today, there's been a, I don't know, a dilution of fighting. Because yeah. now fighting is just viewed as bad. Sure. But for some things, you got to fight. Yeah, you got to struggle. you got to struggle. Yeah. you got to wake up in the morning saying, I'm fighting for my place in society. Jeez. I'm fighting for this. I want to be a man. Mm. I want to own the Bugatti. Mm. I want to do... You think people are just going to let you have that? Don't <laughs> be crazy. That's so true. Don't be... You think giving hugs and everything must be okay? It's not going to help you. Jeez. It's not going to help you. Mm. And for me, I found myself watching Andrew Taylor and going, damn. Like, you know, like, get the fuck out. Sure. Like, what do you mean every day you've just been doing the same thing? Mm. What are you hungry for? Jeez. Who's got you so lax? Like, what's lulled you into the sleep? Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. And you know, one thing that he made me realize is, like, so our time alive compared to before mm. we were even alive and when we're going to be dead yeah. is minute, mm. you know, like in comparison to those, like, those two different times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, I feel like, you know, because you've got such a small time on earth, you should be literally going after it, dude, until... Yeah, 24-7. Yeah, until dude. Breaks don't come on, anymore. dude. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I think one thing that he said was was quite interesting. He said that there was a guy that emailed him. He said he's going to kill himself. Mm. He's, you know, broke. He's fat, whatever, whatever. And I said, okay, fine. Before you kill yourself, just get a six-pack. Mm. Okay? And so he obviously had to eat well. He had to yeah. train. Obviously, he had to kind of, you know, learn about all of this stuff. Wow. And he eventually got to a point where he was like, nah, dude. L I don't why am I killing myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. He just kind of, he, he, he eliminated that, 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 that point of his, his perspective and kind of energized the masculine inside of him. Uh. And that, that ability then just twisted him and just turned him around 180 degrees. So I think for me, it's just like the fact that his impact has got this huge domino effect. Mm. And I kind of love mm. that about, you know, what he says. But also at the same time, you've got to kind of look at what he says in with yeah. social awareness. Yeah, you know? with so exactly. With some, <laughs> yeah, social with awareness. some social awareness. But yeah. yo, okay, no, lovely. But I think just to end off then, um, we're going to end off with just asking my favorite question that I ask to my boys. And that is that if your son was born and you died on that day, but you could just leave him one single note for the rest of his life. What would you write on it? You've always been enough. Mm. I think I'll say from the get-go, you've always been enough. Mm. 
that's all I wanted to know of you're not doing this for anyone but you and you're gonna make it mm. that's all I'd wanted to know I think people don't get that enough just you're gonna make it mm. and I know it sounds very vague but you're gonna make it yeah I don't want you to think too much I just want you to do because mm. you're going to is an action word it's like a doing word yeah. going to yeah so for your life you're going to do things that are going to help you make it make it wherever you want to make it to. Mm. sure that's up to you that's deep man i would say listen okay yeah i think that um more often than not we are so quick to speak about our own opinions and perspectives and I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons why relationships end. Mm. I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons why we end up in wars. I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons why um, society doesn't progress forward True. because there's a lack of listening. But I love what you have to say about being enough because I think that also at the same time, I mean, I know that uh, the, the, the suicidal rates now are insane because people yeah. don't think they're enough and they're comparing themselves to these unrealistic standards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, day yeah. in, day out. Eh? Mm. But you know what? If I'm blessed to be back here sometime in the future, we're going to speak about relationships. Yeah. I think that's cool. No, 100%. We didn't get to speak about them today, but I think if Joe does come through, ah, we'll, we'll have a, we'll have a, we'll call cool. it the Brody Show. Hey, <laughs> come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm still looking for a name. I'm still looking for a name. So I don't know if by the time I drop this podcast, there will be a name. Um, any recommendations? The Corp Show? Nah, nah, nah. It's a bit that's corny. It's corny. It's corny. It's corny. But it's not bad. The corpse show. The corpse show. Uh, I don't know. They're just corpse. I don't know. You know what? I think as you develop this. Yeah. I'll just call it no name. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. No, no. Okay, no. Zero for <laughs> Zero for Yeah, as I develop. Uh, but I'll, I'll stick with the corpse show for now. Yeah. Let's just stick with the corpse show for now. And um, yeah, man. We'll, 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 see how, we'll see how it goes, man. But it's going to be K O. P.S. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's the corpse show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does everyone know that? Actually, you need people to. Get that right. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Everyone watching needs to know it's corpse. Yeah, it's like corpse. So it's going to be like lowercase k, yeah. uppercase o, lowercase p, lowercase s. Okay. So the corpse show, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I like? People won't realize, but the o for okay, man. Oh, what a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, on your boosh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks so much, boosh, man. Yeah, as it's always, man, cool. thank you so much, people, for tuning in. As always, be sure to like, comment, share. And subscribe. Join the gang. Sign on.